go ahead and hit record with me. Might as well get the Thanksgiving scripture. I get it. Yo, what's up, y'all? We out here. We are, this is a on so called Thanksgiving. You know we don't celebrate Thanksgiving because that's a day of the heathens. That's a, a day of Satan. But I got a scripture. This is a Thanksgiving scripture. This is a scripture you need to read on your whole family. You know what I'm saying? This is what you do. You get this scripture, and then just read this to your family while they eating their Thanksgiving dinner. This is Malachi 2 and 1. Oh, and now, excuse me, Malachi 2 and 1. And now, O oh ye priests, this commandment is for you. So this will go out to all them fake ass preachers in these churches. All these preachers out here and all these churches right now are all celebrating Thanksgiving and telling everybody else in their congregation that celebrate Thanksgiving. They probably having Thanksgiving dinners. And then everybody in the congregation taking turns telling everybody how thankful they are. You know, like, what are you thankful for, Brother John? Sister Mary? What you thankful for, Sister? They're all thankful for being in question. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thankful for being uh, uh, impressed, being slaves. In yeah, and everybody knows by now that Thanksgiving, that's just a celebration of the genocide of the Indians. Because there's no there's no scripture in the Bible that said to celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay, we have holy days, and that's not one of them. But uh, and now you priests, this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, and what's the Lord's name? The Lord's name's Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. So, and if to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yeah, because you know, these preachers, they all living good. They, they got all this money, but the Lord's going to curse their blessings. You know what I'm saying? They're wearing alligator shoes. You know what I'm saying? Soon, there ain't going to be no food. There's going to be a famine. They're going to have to eat them shoes. He said, I will even send a curse upon you. I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already because you do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed. I'm talking about their children. And they, these children out here, they are corrupt. All these little bastards, little, little demons running around. They're a bunch of corrupt seeds. Um, so, you know, how they draw children and turkeys. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, they said they got you a school. Like, you got to trace your hand at school, do an outline <laughs> of your hand and turn it into a turkey. I mean, what kind of education is that? I'm sending my child to your demonic school so they can trace their hand and turn it into a turkey? What kind of education? What is that teaching them? Is that teaching them how to build something? How to create a, make an invention? I mean, these schools ain't teaching you shit about how to be a pagan, how to be a devil worshiper. This is why they, they teach you to celebrate pagan holy days in school. Like when it comes Christmas time in school, you gotta, uh, you gotta uh, paint pictures of Santa Claus. And Santa Claus ain't even fucking real. Okay, and, the, and it's, it's Christmas, that's like the most satanic out of all the holidays. It's actually literally the high holy day is Satan. Back in the ancient world, they used to worship the planet Saturn during the time of Christmas. They called it Saturnalia. It's when they worship Satan. It's when they worship Baal. Like, you ever seen Baal before? If you do a Google search, do a Google Im image search of Baal, and look at the little hat Baal wears. He's wearing a little hat with a little ball at the like top. Christmas hat. Yeah, just like Santa Claus. Because that hat that Santa Claus wears, that's really the hat of Baal. And Osiris wear the same kind of hat. Osiris wear the big hat with a little bow on top. That's why witches wear a little pointy hat. And even Odin, he wore a hat like that. The same with Gandalf. Gandalf the wizard from Lord of the Rings. He wore a pointed hat like Santa Claus. And he was a wizard. And the Bible said wizards got to get put to death. So here it is. Santa Claus, he, he's just, and he's red too. What is Who's red in the Bible? Esau. So Santa Claus is red just like Esau, just like the devil's red. And his name's Santa. 
If you if you if you mix up the letters of Santa, it spells Satan. It's just like the uh, it's very similar to the word Saturn. Because during Christmas you worship Satan. It's the time of Saturnalia. It goes back to ancient paganism. But anyway, let me read this, man. He said, if you will not hear and not lay it to heart to give glory unto my name. So you ain't supposed to give glory unto some goddamn Christmas. It is some goddamn Thanksgiving. To hell with Thanksgiving. To hell with some fucking Christmas. All right, if you celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving, God is going to destroy you. He's going to destroy you and your whole family. And I know somebody out there hears it too, because everybody's at home, right? And that nobody's outside now, because everybody's at home, eat, getting fat, pleasing their flesh. But he said, uh, "If you would not lay the heart to give glory to my name, say the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings, like your blessings. Like these people celebrate Christmas, they got the Christmas presents all beneath the tree." Well, the Lord gonna send a fire. It's gonna cause your Christmas tree to catch on fire. Hey, you know the Bible said don't put a Christmas tree in your house and not to celebrate Thanksgiving. The people don't know that. They, cause the average person is retarded. Yeah, but that's a, that's that's the funniest thing to see is like on Christmas or even Thanksgiving. I mean, any day, the whole house will catch on fire. All the or kids, the mom died. Either that or the, cra or the crazy uncle shows up the house and shoots up the whole family, kills the whole family while you're eating your holiday dinner. So that's what the Lord's going to bring. You're going to hear about a lot of deaths today on Thanksgiving, man. You're going to hear there's people always getting fights on the holidays. Fights break out, cops getting called. A lot of motherfuckers lost their jobs and shit. They can't feed their families. They yep. Oh, they, they so depressed that they can't have a big Thanksgiving dinner, so they go kill somebody. Shit, I heard today on, it was on the Drudge Report, two guys killed a household pet for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen another story on there. There was a bunch of wild turkeys. A bunch of wild turkeys was chasing people. And they, they were so scared they had to hide in their house. They was like, we can beat them off with a stick and run right in the house. <laughs> So there's wild, that's why them turkeys is getting back at y'all. I'm not making that up. It's really wild that's turkeys. It was, I mean, unless that story was a hoax. You know what I mean? But let me get back to the point. Those birds got history of attacking people in groups anyway. Yeah, birds are cold-blooded, literally. So, they don't have to be easy. Yeah. That's the nature of a cold-blooded animal. It's to attack. It's just that it's attacking half the woods. Very good. Yeah, it said, I will send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings. Jay, I've cursed them already because you did not lay the heart. They said, the table, talking about bless this table, bless this food, bless oh, yeah. my children. Why, why they eating ham? Right, right. Because that's really the main dish ain't, ain't uh, turkey, it's ham. It's that honey, honey baked ham. It, you know, it's like they got the sun shining on it through the window. Like, honey Whoa. baked ham. Woo. So I wouldn't let me get more of that ham, baby. Ooh, that's the best. Mm -hmm. You're right, too. They'd rather eat the ham. The spiral cut ham. The turkey's halfway healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. That's kind of good for you. But some motherfucking ham, some goddamn, that's a pig's ass. That's what a pig was shitting out of. Not always, the, the pig is the most filthiest out of all the creatures. So you're going to eat the most filthiest creature's ass. That's nasty, man. That's disgusting. What's that? And yeah, lust after. They be having dreams about it. They get excited. You know, like, hmm, watch a while. Oh, hurry up and cook that one. You got that gold tooth shining, like, hmm, hmm. It's wicked and ceased to. I mean, it's never. Don't cease to When I go to my mom's house, I mean, last time I went to a Thanksgiving dinner, I forget how, it was a long time ago. But I went over there, because I'm a vegetarian anyway. But I went over. Almost every dish she had cooked had some kind of fucking pork in it. She had uh, the salad already had pork in it. it. Had bacon bits in it before I could even. You no, know, I had slices of ham in the salad. I want to go get some stuffing. Nope, stuffing got ham in it. You know what I'm saying? Like every dish has some kind of pork in it. So let me read this. It says, "I will corrupt your seed, and I will spread a uh, dung upon your faces." Shit. Even the dung of your solemn feast. Shit. So the Lord said, while you eating that Thanksgiving dinner, and after you shit it out, he going to wipe the shit on your face. He, after you shit your Thanksgiving dinner out, the Lord going to wipe that shit on your face. 
It's right there in the Bible. That's right. That's right. It's right there in the Bible. They made up. So they that's what up. the Lord thinks about some Thanksgiving. Hey, give me a uh, first John. I got a scripture. I got a scripture. All right, go ahead. What you got? Uh, Amos. Okay, read that. Uh, Amos 5 and 21. I hate. Oh, that's I a good despise one. your feast day. Yeah, so that's why the Lord hates Thanksgiving. God hates Thanksgiving. God hates Christmas. <laughs> And, and if you if you celebrate Thanksgiving and if you celebrate Christmas, that means God hates you. That's right. That's right. And that's a fact. It's in the Bible. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Say the Lord gave us a few people to walk down the street, you know. These cars set these faces on the yeah. yeah, man, as long as one person hears it, plus we're gonna put it on the internet, so. So somebody's going to hear this, man. Mm -hmm. So we're going, to, we're going to push this word out even though no one's out here. Right. We going? ain't at the end yet. <laughs> we still got yeah. work to do. Like, I know he heard it. I'm back to spirit, man. He, walked a, he picked up the speed a little bit. Y'all brothers, they don't come out no more. Y'all enjoying your Thanksgiving? You know, you fought your time with your families? You got all your laundry clean. All right. <laughs> and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings. Let's go back to that solemn assembly. That's you know, where everybody gets together. <clears throat> so yeah, and the Lord ain't with that shit, man. Cause like, yeah, like the meat offerings, they don't do the meat offerings no more uh, like at an altar. You know, back in the ancient world, they take a sacrifice to the priest. But nowadays they're gonna sit up there and uh, everybody's gonna hold hands and say the Lord's prayer together. They're gonna pray to Jesus to eat a big old piece of ham. You bunch of goddamn heathens, man. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings. And that's the offering is when they say the Lord's Prayer. They throwing up an offering to the Lord, trying to tell them to sanctify this food when you're eating all kind of abominations. And where in the Bible does it say to celebrate Thanksgiving? That's an American uh, holiday created by, I believe the first president of the Institute was John Hansen, the first president under the Articles of Confederation. Well, go ahead. I would not accept them Neither will I regard peace offerings in your fat beasts. Um, take thou away from me the noise of thy song. Yeah, so that plus, yeah, they might be playing that Christmas music. Cause you know when they they gonna be watching the Macy's Day Parade. You know, when things, you know, they consider Thanksgiving the beginning of the holiday seasons, right? So now on Thanksgiving is when they start playing Christmas music, mm. little playing that being Crosby bullshit. Through the supermarket, the stores. I already heard today someone pulled a knife on someone in Sacramento Kmart. Oh yeah, people. Yeah, yeah they about to have. On, yeah. They about to have Black Friday. Here it is. They call it Black Friday. They tell you it's evil. You know what I'm saying? Y'all love it too, man. Like, yeah, they really stab somebody just to get a widescreen TV. <laughs> a bunch of and a bunch of fat bitches too. You go to Walmart, be a bunch of fat pork chop eating bitches fighting over a uh, TV, man. So they just, they, oh, what are they gonna do with the TV? They are gonna sit on their ass, they are gonna get even more fat. Get a dollar off their favorite popcorn. Hey, give me that 1 John uh, 2 and 20. I mean, 1 John, yeah, that's right. No, no, 1 John 2 and 15, my fault. 1 John 2 and 15. Cause this goes hand in hand with that. Cause uh, Thanksgiving is what you call a secular holiday. Same with Christmas. That's called a secular holiday. You know, that that means a worldly holiday. That's something the world celebrates. You know, it goes back to ancient pagan traditions. First John 2 and 15. And like we were saying earlier, yeah. like uh, uh, Thanksgiving is always held on Thursday. What's Thursday? That's the day of Thor. Thursday literally means the day of Thor. So Thanksgiving is just is paganism. It's Norse paganism. You know what I'm saying? In Spanish or in Latin, the day for Thursday is Hueve. So it goes back to Jove, or goes back to Jupiter or Zeus. So, so Thursday is the day of Zeus or the day of Thor. So that's why Thanksgiving is always on Thursday because they worship Zeus. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, Thanksgiving is the day, it's the day of Satan. Just you walking off your Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, because you know, you know God is against Thanksgiving, right? And it, you know God's against America. The hell with Thanksgiving. That's it. The America, he's against his whole damn country. Zach De La Rocha. Hey, yeah, looking like a, yeah, a homosexual. Yeah, Zach De La Rocha's probably a homosexual. 
his name is Roach. Anybody got the name Roach up in their name ain't right. What, Zach the Roach? Zach of the Roach? I mean, what does that mean? First John, 2 and 15. Reminds me of that one dude. I was just talking about roaches. Do you hear that dude that got, he died from eating roaches? Yep. In a roach yep. eating contest? Yep. That's the kind of sick that's shit these people, people that's what these people into, man. Dude gets shocked when he drops dead from eating roaches. I'll go ahead. My fault. First John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. So we don't love the world. We don't love the things in the world. All right. So we don't love that Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a part of the world. Okay. And now Thanksgiving, that's a big, that's a big corporate holiday. That's a big money day for the corporations. So when by you participating in Thanksgiving, not only are you participating in a satanic ritual and you putting spiritual energy into a satanic ritual, but when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you give them money to the corporations and you're further enslaving yourself by giving these rich devils even more money. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, especially with Christmas. Spending all that money every year on Christmas just to give this devil more money, man. A bunch of stupid ass people. And that's of the world. Only a simple motherfucker of the world will fall for some shit like that. So read that. We, we're not of the world. The scripture said our kingdom is not of this world. Go ahead. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So the, if you celebrate Thanksgiving and Christmas, the love of the Father, the Father does not love you. The Father hates you. Like, so if your grandma have the big thing look god don't love your grandma god don't love your mom he don't love your dad unless they doing the work in the most high teaching the truth the lord hates them mm. go ahead for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes so the lust of the flesh what's the lust of the flesh when it, uh, every thanksgiving people want to have an eating contest i used to do it too mm. you know but i repented you know what i mean it's a day of gluttony. Thanksgiving is a day of gluttony where you please your flesh. Try to try to eat as much food as possible, mm. which, which is a sin. So read that again. You know how uncomfortable that is. That is yeah, that's real uncomfortable. I always, I always, you know, feel real bad after I eat too much. I always regret it. So why would I forcibly stick all that food in me? You know what I mean? Right. That's not. That's not even good for you. That's retarded. So read that again. For all that is in the world. The lust of the flesh. Hold on, what, hold on. Especially these fat bitches. And, and, and there's so many fat bitches in America. And every Thanksgiving, you can just watch them. Walking down, walking down. Just, just eat more and more and more and more. Eating. I eat, done ate like 20 different kind of animals. You know what I'm saying? Then ate some pork with some shrimp, with, with some meatloaf. Then, then ate like 20 different animals in one meal. So read that again. For all What's up, bro? in the world, the lust of the flesh. That's that Thanksgiving. That's the lust of the flesh. You know the what I'm saying? The lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes. That's the only thing a woman is into the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. That's why on the holidays, it's always the woman who's putting up all the Christmas decorations and putting up all the all the Thanksgiving. What's wrong with what the brother saying? Well, I disagree. You said women well, look at the lust of the flesh. Well, men do well, too. They both well, do. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's part of that part of creation. But God designed women for men. So no matter what the state of Ohio want to uh, for I uh, want to have this law where uh, same gender marriage. See, I, I can see I can usually read between lines. Well, we already got the laws that's in the Bible, though. No, no, not with same gender. That's against them. That's the abomination of the spirit. What's, what's put, the abomination of the spirit? Uh, gen, same gender marriage. That's oh, right, against, right, that's right, against right. God's law. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's why I'm saying right. that, that law is right. in the Bible. But you're saying with the flesh, you make it seem like because women have attracted the men. No, 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 no. no. I'm not talking about sexual. No. We're talking, no. no. we talking about eating Thanksgiving dinner, and we're talking about fat house. Like, you, like, no, like, you, you, you see that? You see that? The ham sitting on that table, but you said flesh, surrounded you said, by candy yams. I, I said lust of the flesh because lust of the flesh means you want to please your. It is not all. When well, you say the word, like, hold on, no, no. When you say the word lust, we're you know, not talking about I, women when, attraction. We're not talking about men. sex. Well, what, what do you mean by flesh? Then flesh is talking about they pleasing their flesh. I always want like these. Have you noticed all these fat bitches out here? No, I don't call them the But that's they are bitches. A real man don't call a woman. Yes, sir, a real man no, does call. Oh, right, that's right. A real man does call a whole bitch. That's why they say you can't turn. Right, demon. 
Put you, your black ass on. Yeah, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I'm gonna call a bitch a hoe and a hoe a bitch. A bitch is a hoe and a hoe is a bitch. It's in the Bible. God calls these women bitches. It's in the Bible. Get it, bro. Get it. It's in the Bible. It's right here. We're gonna read it. It's in the Bible. God calls a woman bitches. God said these women is hoes. God, God called them whores. God said, God said, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Ecclesiastes 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So God said a shameless woman gonna be counted as a dog. A bitch is a female dog. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. A shameless woman shall be, what's a female dog? What's a female dog? A what? bitch. A bitch. And you are old fool. You a nasty, unclean spirit. And you are old fool. You the one that you the one that got aggressive against us. We was being cool with you. You you the demon. There you go. There you go. This is Job 32 and 9. Great men are not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. Yeah, so he all, uh, he all, man, he probably, he probably drunk as hell. He been drinking some, uh, what's that shit called? They be drinking wild on the Irish. The, nah, that too. He probably was drinking the wild Irish rose. <laughs> nah, the, uh, what's the, the milk shit that uh, they drink on the, the eggnog? Eggnog, yeah. yeah. He okay. was sipping on the eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> Spiked eggnog. He gonna say, how you gonna call a woman a bitch? He like, nah, he said, don't call her no B. He'd be like, don't call him no B. When he said the word lust, you think every time you hear the word lust, you think you're talking about sex. <laughs> Man, because these actually, we can get in that, because them hoes, they go. Let's get back into that. Because it's talking about that too, actually. Right, what you want? But, but, but an old fool, man, say a fool. See, you know, the scriptures say a fool is wise when he don't speak at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? A fool yeah. becomes wise when he shuts the fuck up. Oh, well, we got that first John 2 and uh, so I didn't get it finished yet. Oh, I'm man. not kidding. I got it. It's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, first John I'll 2 hear, and 16. And like, you know, this on these churches, everybody's into that Trinity. They always talking about the Trinity. This is their Trinity. This is the woman's Trinity right here. Let's read that. Okay, I'm starting to 15 is, again. Yeah, this is that wicked ass Israelite woman's Trinity right. right here. First John 2 and 15. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. Hey, so we ain't got no love for that old fool that just came up here. Uh, and we're not, we're not going to pray for him. We'll pray for his destruction. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes. Keep going. And the pride of life. And the pride of life. That's the big one too, the pride of life. These people are a bunch of proud devils is not of the Father, but is of the world. So if you're always lusting after the flesh, like you want to, uh, always want to celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, look, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. It's not of the Father, that's of the world. Right. And the world passeth away. And the world passes away. That's one of our favorite topics. We like to talk about the missiles coming. Because I dare you to read some Bible scriptures at a Thanksgiving meal. The whole family will come against you. They'll, they'll call you the devil because you're reading the Bible. That's why, man, you people need punched in your face. You need to be destroyed. You need to be set on fire with gasoline. They need to be evaporated. <laughs> man, I, I just think of twisted, sick shit. Just, I just pray people just start dropping dead soon, man. It's coming, bro. It's coming. I, mean, I hope the Lord unleashes the bubonic plague, the black death. Because eventually he's going to destroy it. He's going to cleanse the earth with nuclear fire. He's gonna destroy America with nuclear fire. I can't wait till that day, man. I cannot wait. I'm gonna praise the Lord, hallelujah. We're gonna sing songs, we're gonna drink wine. Pace it today, bro. Pray for it, pray for it, man. I'm just trying. And then as you go to the family dinner, you see him feeding a little baby pork. You ever seen him do that? Feed him, oh, open up, baby. Oh, he ate his butt. Yeah. I was watching a movie yesterday, man. Uh, Motherfuckers eating that alligator and shit, man. Oh my goodness. That's nasty, man. Oh, alligator, man. Oh, that's delicious. Delicious. They eat anything. They eat dogs, monkeys. Right, put the right spices on it. This shit gonna go up and smoke. 
When I was in the Marines, I was seeing people eating monkey brains. They was eating rabbits. They was eating snakes. They was eating roaches. But they're not roaches. They eat roaches too. They eat roaches too. They eat roaches. They eat grasshoppers. Actually, you can. The scriptures say you can eat locusts. You can eat. That's locusts though, not no roaches. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And beetles. I guess that's good. Some man. crickets. I can't wait to, I've been looking for it. That's now. actually lawful. You can I like actually, some crickets, some sour cream and onion. I think you're crickets. allowed to eat beetles too, but you know what? Beetles, yeah, so, yeah, Y'all can eat the beetles. Mm, they stick. look delicious. <laughs> they look crunchy. <laughs> Put them over a roast them over a fire. The cat likes them. The yeah. crickets, they taste like sunflower seeds. Cats look you hear a cat be crunching or <laughs> get all the juices in it. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And the world passes away. And the lust thereof. Yeah, so the world gonna pass away. Keep going. I just wanted that. But he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So we're gonna abide forever. So, look. Like your family always make, they always make you choose between them and the Bible. Okay, that's a classic symptoms of having the truth. You know what I mean? <laughs> if your family doesn't want to have anything to do with you, guess what? <laughs> You're probably part of the elect. Because if you teach this truth, man, your family don't have anything to do with you. I don't know. There's other reasons your parents might not want anything to do with you, too. That's the main one. Well, that, that you is turn into a transvestite, you ain't allowed coming back. Actually, no. Nah, that, that makes you even a... <laughs> these days, that makes you even like one of the uh, more famous members of the family now. You become a transvestite, now the whole family want to hang out with you. They probably, yeah. they probably want to play with you. <laughs> find yourself having all kind of friends too. Yeah, and you see all these gay guys, they, they have all, you're surrounded by all kind of women. Moms you always hear women talking about, oh, my gay friends. Mm -hmm. This is fucking amazing. Right, right. What's up, man? You reading the Bible? Yeah, throwing up curses on America. Yeah, we cursing out Thanksgiving. We're cursing Ohio State. We're cursing out America. We hate America. Goddamn America. It's very interesting. It's the most amazing thing in existence. You hear precept upon precept. But here, line, line, line. It's that new song. Right. You want to hear a new song? Well, it may not be new to everybody. <laughs> the scripture says, sing ye a new song. Here's that part of that new song right here. Uh, this is James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulterers. Yeah, this goes out. That's we, this is, we live in a wicked and adulterous generation. America is the most decadent, most backwards, most degenerate nation in the history of the planet Earth. History of Solomon Gomorrah, which the Lord destroyed by fire. This place multiplies. Yo, this, yeah, this Solomon Gomorrah looks like, <laughs> that looks like kindergarten compared to America. Well, well before I keep y'all in suspense, y'all are preaching to the choir. So, as far as I'm well aware, as what far you mean as by that? You I part think, of the choir? I think, I think that the words are self explanatory. Right. If you are preaching to the choir, then that means that I am a member along with you as oh. far as the. A member of what? A member of what? The reasoning as far as about. Know what you, but what choir though? Whose choir are you? Well, the well, Bible well. speaks of choirs. Who, who, who's the. Well, the Levitical choir? Who are the Levites? Remember, you have to uh, have patience. Patience is probably the best tool that any one patience can have. <laughs> You're right about that. As far as to be a member of a choir simply means that if you sing words, someone will sing all of you. Yeah, but whose choir is it? What kind of people make up my What kind of people make up that choir? You are asking questions and you are not understanding the words that I'm saying. I said, what words? What's your nationality? What nationality? Now, what's your nationality? Well, first of all, you are asking What's so simple questions. about hard and difficult, difficult to answer a simple question? Exactly. I mean, what's your nation, nationality? Exactly. Because I said that I am a member of the choir. So that's a choir is not a nationality. Yeah, that, that, absolutely. That is not a so nationality. So what have you said that I would agree with? if I'm a member of your choir. You're not a member of this choir. 
Ah, you a see, poet? So you have said. You do Shakespeare? So just Shakespeare? like Jesus said, he goes, you, as, as far as you may separate yourself he goes, from out me, of school, but start. you cannot say that I have you separated got myself from you. Got oh yeah, balls. you got crystal. <laughs> he gonna start doing Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do Macbeth? What does Macbeth have to do? Why well, should say? <laughs> what does Shakespeare? Okay. okay, this is uh, James four and four. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with the Most High? So you been out eating Thanksgiving dinner today? If you have to ask, then you have to not know, right? All right, keep going. Who so therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. Yes, yeah. And it also says in Luke or John, it says that those things highly esteemed of man are an abomination to God. You are correct. It's true. And about you them, the saying, so see, but you have already presumed that I know not your choir. They yes, did the same I, thing I know, to Jesus. Don't know I don't presume anything. I know. Read right there, it's First John 2. You know. No, actually, I see. You I, see. There's a difference between knowing and seeing. I, we see mm -hmm. the truth. And what do you see in me? Oh, fool. I see <laughs> a, 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 a lost soul. A lost soul. A lost and soul. what has been said or done by me that uh, you know, I see, I see, that? I see a, you're a spiritual foreigner. Anyway, you still didn't say what words or actions. You can't even tell us what your nationality is. The scriptures is. say That's I can right, look upon it. Because a just like Jesus said, he said, you do not tell me from whence you came, so I do not tell you Jesus from whence I came. Jesus was from the tribe of uh, he did. Judah. He did tell you from No, he that? didn't. He, you already yeah, were supposed you. to know by his words and his works. Which he didn't word? have to explain. Right here. As far as, uh, exactly. And I know it better than you and you. Is so so right? who did Christ come for? As far as, uh, <laughs> like I said, we're not going, you're not going to question me just like they were not going to question Christ. This is Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Yeah, because the, the Levites were the priests, just like the Levites were in charge of the choir. Okay, and back to those, what, you, what you asked. Those things are, as far as only so relevant. Did not Jesus also not say that we are all gods? Who is we? We, we are gods. Who is we? You're though? not asking me that. Well, who You're is questioning we? the who is statement we? that well, Jesus said. I answered you. I said you yes. Are asked, we are gods. Yes, you did, but he did not agree with you in a court. Who? What? You yes, are he not did. in a court. No, he said, who are the gods? That's exactly. what he asked you. Who I said, we gods? are, but who are we? When exactly. I say we, when, when Christ said, ye are gods, mm -hmm. who is that ye? And that's what I mean. Is you, that the whole You say, do you know? You are speaking of tribes. No, no, A no. God does not have a tribe. What the? Wait a minute, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Actually, you're, you're totally wrong. You're totally, <laughs> totally wrong. You don't have a tribe. So you're going to find a scripture that says I got like a billion of them. I got like a billion scriptures. Oh, and so do that I. That proves the Lord is only dealing with Israel. That is it. Oh, really? The Lord only It's funny that he didn't say that. He said it multiple times. That's why he made it perfectly clear that when he told them, he said, only when you, referring to the Jews, accept me, as far as will you get into the kingdom of heaven. He wasn't <laughs> talking to everybody. He was talking to them because right. they were the Tell, ones who denied him. The Tell, same way you denied me when right, I walked over here. This is red letters right here. I can look yeah. on upon a man's countenance and tell him something. Oh, you know my countenance. Yeah, well, everybody has a countenance. You have a spiritual aura. There's right. a scripture in John. You do. Everybody has, go ahead. Okay, this, he, ain't have, he don't have tribes. Revelation 7 and 4. Mm -hmm. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and I and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. See, that's the elect. Of the that's the first fruit. Of Israel. Of the children of Israel. Have tribes, so who are the children of Israel? You don't have tribes then. But and you not said all the people of the world. Well, of course not. There you go. But the script you just said that the Lord didn't come for the free that he wants about. Huh? Well, this has been very pleasant, but since you know my aura and my countenance, there is no need for me Actually, to say Actually, you are more. definitely right about that. Yes, you can go on your way. I know I can. And I no heard the number of that. them which were sealed, and there were sealed you can't by go one any and to your and 4, of all of the tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel. He might be a terror any goddamn way. 
Yeah, man. My damn tear anyway. A tear, T A R E. The weed in the tear, you're the tear. You know what a weed is? You're going to get burned up in that barn. You know what weeds are? You know when your plants, your vegetables is growing, you pluck them weeds up out of it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Man, you can't even talk. <laughs> you can't even talk to somebody in plain speech, man. <laughs> no, you you are far from Jesus. You don't even know the scriptures. He knew all the scriptures. And also, the scripture says to debate the cause, debate the scriptures. Come we run into Proverbs says the wicked fleeth, but no man pursueth. Come on, talk you know about that in Proverbs. The wicked fleeth. That's Othello. Go on, Othello. He came out talking like Shakespeare. Like, what art thou to do? Oh God, you goddamn wicked fool! I, I, I bet you eat swine. Look at him. Look at him. He's a madman. He probably just had a honey smoked ham. He's mad. You're mad. What you live in your bag? Do you live in your bag? <laughs> he said, well, that's all you got to say. <laughs> he thinks he's Jesus because he's homeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He and they know, quick, that's man. probably, dude, he probably really thinks he's the Lord. He left too quick. He man, that's too what quick. Yeah, he had a fucking... Now, you, we were talking about ain't nobody out here, right? Here, yeah. <laughs> you know well, man, we got, we, a couple <laughs> demons came up. The Lord says the demons out to us today. And that dude was a demon for sure. That's like, right. we can't, I mean... Is that guy's cousin? It's he looks like guy. Because you know, we, you know, no offense, guy. We just saying, dude, we oh, talking yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I don't mean, watch our videos anyway. <laughs> I mean, he couldn't even talk like he's like a weirdo. Oh, he he had to speak in the Shakespeare, Shakespearean terms. Just when we thought we'd seen all the weirdos, a new one comes. That was a fucking weirdo for your ass right there. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> What's wrong with these fools, He's man? He's like, if you have to ask me, then you don't know. <laughs> He's like, we are of the same choir. I don't even know, yeah. We are of the same about, choir. Right, he was trying to put himself into this. He tried to come through the back window. Yeah, that dude, he was a goddamn eat Oh, right? he just stopped down yeah, he there. He seemed like a terror. Who knows? He was a fucking weirdo either way. Like, he almost got hit. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he had a suicide bomb on him. All right, what was we doing? I'm going to get another scripture real quick. I was about to hit him with this, but he left. Matthew 15 and 24. This is what, uh, this is what the Lord said. Yeah, I was shy. He said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So this dude tried to say, the, he said, God doesn't have a nation. He don't have no tribes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he ain't got no tribes. And how come the one you call Jesus <laughs> said he came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? The that, 12 the Israel, tribes. The 12 tribes of Israel, you jackasses. <laughs> that dude's an idiot, man. He's like, he's like, there's no scriptures in that Bible. I don't know what he said. He was, he was freaking me out, to be honest with you. Yeah, he was kind of creepy, wasn't he? Yeah. I was glad he left. He couldn't have left no sooner. Yeah, that's what it did. Be gone, Satan. The Lord, I think the Lord might send us another demon out here. There's something for that piece of shit, whatever it is. We got some real low lifes out here, right here, man. Right. Proverbs 13 and 3. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life. Oh, that's that's a good one. But, oh yeah. You know that in the hood. That's a hood scripture. Because you know if you run your mouth a lot, man, you get the shit beat out of you, you get shot. Right. But he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. That's a he's running white. Instead of him just being cool, is acting like a fucking weirdo, he could have just been quiet for a minute and let us get our points out. But he had to act like a weirdo. Weirdo. I mean, that was a strange motherfucker. And that's, that, that goes to the other dude. Actually, that goes more to that first guy, that, that first demon that was here. Because <laughs> we was really trying to be cool with him because uh, at least we could understand his speech. Mm -hmm. He wasn't talking like a straight-up weirdo. Right, right. But he kept cutting us off. I was like, hold on, bro. Let me explain this to you. Let me get the scripture. <laughs> 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 Like, don't people call like, it no yeah, B. People, you can't debate. Some people you can't debate with because they won't even let you debate with them because they ain't hearing it. They don't know shit. That's like your family. Like when you go to uh, try to give your family some truth, like when you're on Thanksgiving or something or Christmas, and you're like, I'm going to show you all a description in the Bible that says you can't have that Christmas tree in your house. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah, bah. They don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. 
Ecclesiastes 19 11. <clears throat> a fool travaileth with a word as a woman in labor of a child. That's your boy. He was. <laughs> there goes Tar. As an arrow that sticketh in a man's thigh. It was painful to listen to that It motherfucker. was, man. It was annoying as hell. Yeah. So is a word within a fool's belly. Yeah, he had all kind of foolish words up in his belly. You said, what you call him, Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he came up and talked to That's why I say, that's Othello. That's a... <laughs> Come out here. Ooh. That was some bugged out shit. I'm he like, caught me off guard. Did you get that dude on camera? <laughs> Yeah. Look at some demons coming our way right now, man. This is demon day, man. That's what this is. Ecclesiastes 25 and 3. 2. Three sort of men my soul hated, and I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud. Yeah, a poor man that is proud. Like, like what? What come out like a, a, a homeless dude or anybody's broke as fuck? Even somebody from the hood would come up here talking shit to us. But here it is, they broke as fuck and they'll have a problem when we say fuck America. Right. But like we say fuck America, but you broke. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. A rich uh, man that is a liar. Are, um, an extra blank CD on you. Nah. <laughs> uh, shit. I know they still use CDs. Uh, blank CD. I mean. Hey, shit. where the white Jews at, man? Huh? Where the white Jews at? They're the, the devil. The white ones are not real. You white, ain't you? No, nah, I ain't white. He's a Muslim. He's a white. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, bro. I don't want to talk, man. I'm mad. Ain't nothing you can do for me. There's nothing you can do for me. Ain't nothing you can do for me, bro. Bye. 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 Hey, now, you know. What are you doing to you? What's wrong with you, Bush? Huh? What's wrong with you? Hey, nah, nah. I'll be with the song, man. Y'all take care. <laughs> hey, let me get back to you. I told you, man, it's, it's that special day. What do you mean, Bushwick? What do you mean, Bushwick? What do you mean, Bushwick? Bro, Bushwick, man. Fuck that nigga. I'm not helping you. You brought this on yourself. All right. What do you mean, Bushwick, man? What do you mean, Bushwick? I'm a king, bro. What do you mean? King this. Now, we out here reading the Bible, man. We out here reading the Bible. We reading the Bible. Three sort of men my soul hated. And I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that do it. So that's why that's the dude right here. He probably poor and he proud. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> he'll come up and try to start a fight with us. Is he gonna try to start a fight with Esau? Ain't gonna start no fight with no motherfucker. Well, no, no, but he gonna act hard. But is he gonna is he gonna act like that against one of these rich white people? Hell no. Never. Hell no. These motherfuckers is just mouth, man. Just mouth. That's I mean, I was just wishing This dude was like, if you fight him, you on your own. I ain't helping yeah, you. Yeah, he just told him too, because, I mean, we ain't had to fight nobody, man. I mean, that dude, if he would try to do something, you know, you know he would got thrown. It would make for a great I, video. I mean, That's about it. I got, I mean, I, we got this big motherfucker right here. He would got thrown. He get destroyed. This brother right here would destroy him. Slaughter. I don't even have to do nothing. We, if we I, ain't calling him any motherfucker. Oh, yeah. We have to. We'll go I mean, I, I break your teeth out with this sign. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is like a shield. Right, you come up, right. it's a here, shield. We're spiritual men. We out here trying to be spiritual. You know? I, and I'm wearing some hard ass boots. Yeah, there ain't no rules when you fighting. Oh, they, we, nah, they just look. got offended because the brother, he, he, oh, know, yeah. he said, where the white Jews at? Oh, no, he got, he got mad because I told him I wasn't uh, white. He was like, oh, I'm angry. You can't tell me nothing. <laughs> man, fuck these fools, man. <laughs> Act like a mama's boy. This people are crazy. They got demons. I told you it's a special it's a demon. demon day, man. There's a lot of demons out it's here today, demon man. Day. It's like three hardcore demons came out. <laughs> I told you when I woke up this morning, how the demons were out, man. I, I told you, I sent him a message. I said, I feel like a, what did I say? I feel like a transdimensional vortex opened up. <laughs> no, no. And our That's army and our army of demons came out the portal and was marching around. Yeah, who the, the fuck hood. carries blank CDs around with them anyway? Yeah, who the fuck asked people for a blank CD? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I got I got my, my you phone. right here, dog. You can have it though for free. Motherfucker, this is 2012. Motherfuckers don't even use CDs yeah, yeah. no more. Right. Only reason you use that is like burn video games or yeah, something. Yeah, make a Dreamcast yeah. game or yeah. something. Motherfuckers using CDs. It's one of them days, bro. <laughs> the demons is in the yeah, air. Yeah, the fuck out of He was like, oh, I make rap records, though. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, he's a rapper. Oh, you're one of them, huh? 
you and five million other people. <laughs> <laughs> More like 50 million other people. <laughs> Everybody on welfare is a rapper. We got my new album. Jeremiah uh, 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. Man, mother, that's some foolish fools out here, man. They have not known me. Yeah. They are silent like children. I said, that's what I say. He's trying to fight. So I told him, like, look, we reading the Bible. Okay? We're reading the Bible, and you're trying to fight us. What kind of madness is that? <laughs> man, you need punch in the face for that. I, I, I yeah, really wish that motherfucker... Fuck if he would have came over here, he would have got fucked up. You know, you know, you know, that's what I'm saying. He would have... That's the Judah. Judah right look, there, Judah the, If you look at there ain't nobody out here today, so we can get a lot... We can get away with a lot of oh, stuff right yeah. now. You sure you right we can get today. We could actually get in a fight and get away with it. Yeah. But you know, I haven't been in a. I've never been in a fight in a long time. Right. So I could break someone's teeth out. That would feel good. Go ahead. Jeremiah four and twenty two. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. So yeah, keep going. Like that. All these look at these demons are coming out here. Keep going. Special demon day. They are saddest children. And they get mad over the Bible. And a bunch of feminine bitches too. Here, this motherfucker got mad because we called a woman a bitch. Mm. He, I'm like, motherfucker, where is you from? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know when I'm in the neighborhood, like, man, did you see what that bitch told me yesterday? Said all the hoes call themselves bitches. They call, yeah, exactly. They call themselves bitches. But they get mad when we say bitch. Man, these people need death. They need <laughs> motherfucking death. That's right. That's right. They gonna get it too. They have no idea what's gonna happen to them, man. They're gonna. It's like that demon that just came up here that was trying one of the fighters, Bushwick, Bushwick Bill. Bushwick, Bushwick, Bushwick. They call him Bushwick, cause yeah, he knew who Bushwick was too. It hurt. He's like, what do you mean Bushwick? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean Bushwick, nigga? <laughs> man, mm -hmm. he's a damn demon. He did look like, but he looked like a little orc <laughs> off Lord of the Rings, man. <laughs> right, right, right. I see a lot of orcs and goblins and trolls. Look at this motherfucker, motherfucker running over here. They are saddest children, and they have none understanding. Yeah, they keep these demons away from me. Yeah, they got no understanding on no shit. Like, who the fuck goes other people asking for a blank <laughs> CD? I thought he was going to ask for a light. You know what I mean? We get a light, bro. He said blank a CD. Blank CD? What the fuck? I thought he was going to ask something about the song. Yeah, ask, no, he, no, he asked who the white Jews were. He's like, who the white Jews? He said, where the white Jews at? Everybody got a meal going on. No one ever gave me none. But we're not allowed to give you none. Though. Yeah. Right, we can't give you none. Yeah, we're, we're, we're we not. We can't give you none. Yeah, we're forbidden. Right. right.